Okay, so I removed all the screws from the Acer Chromebook uh, from the bottom panel because we're going to focus on the solid state drive today. I used this uh, screwdriver and this pry tool. They're in the description down below. If you uh, struggle with this, you can always look up a disassembly video, but we are going to focus on the actual removal and installation of the solid state drive. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to detach the battery by moving this plug by not pulling on the wires ladies and gentlemen but pulling on the tabs on the side um also if you find this video in any way helpful please like share and subscribe okay so i'm going to pull in those little tabs pull back and then i'm going to remove the battery this particular battery does not have any screws so you can literally just lift it up um, a lot of them you would have to remove screws all along the side before doing that all right, so now I'm going to unplug it here because the solid state drive in this particular model is underneath this ribbon cable. I'm going to pull back on the back flap right here, being careful because these particular kind of port do break easily. And then I'm going to pull this ribbon cable out gently. And there is my solid state drive, as you can see. So we're going to use that screwdriver to detach it, but I'm going to zoom in first and give you guys a better shot. Keep in mind, you can only replace a solid state drive if it looks like this and with a separate unit like that. See, as you see, I did the screw and then the drive gets gently set back in the new one you would use. And if it's, and then I would go ahead and screw it back. If you don't have a separate drive, if it's integrated into the motherboard, then obviously you cannot replace it. You would have to replace the whole board. Also keep in mind, if you install a brand new solid state drive, then you would have to um, reinstall the operating system. I'm just gonna take it out and put it back in again, just so you can see it one more time, just like so, and then set it back in. So it's pretty easy, not a hard thing to do, and it's actually a really good thing to know how to do. Um, also try to hold the, your solid state drive by the sides as much as possible. It is better for the drive. If this drive is secure again, then I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And that's how you do it. From one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.